Red Sox closer Kenley Jansen joined an exclusive group of relief pitchers. He became just the seventh major leaguer to record 400 career saves. So please welcome to the field with his family, the newest member of MLB's 400 Save Club, Kenley Jansen. Joining Kenley on the field are a few of his teammates to present him with a couple of gifts. Huge night for one James Paxton. 767 days since he last started a major league game. It's Paxton versus Edmund. Tommy John surgery. And that's going to be in there for strike three. Boy, that fastball, 97 miles an hour. Well, that is good to see, huh? 94 first couple, but then 97, he kind of paints up and in. Goldschmidt is facing Paxton for the first time. And a base hit for Goldie with one out. Coming from the lefty, and it's taken for strike three. Fastball right down the middle, and he took it with a bat on his shoulder, 96. So Nolan Arenado, he's back in Fenway Park with the Cardinals. Swing and a drive. That's hammered toward the monster. That ball is a line drive rocket. And the Cardinals strike with two strikes, two outs. It's 2 nothing. And the fans up there have a Nolan Arenado souvenir after his fourth home run of the year. Adam Wainwright, career start number 392, has a 2 nothing lead as he faces the Red Sox tonight. Going to throw it in there again. There a pitch, and he got him from a 3-0 count. Wayno struck him out looking. He just crisscrossed the inside corner after he was down 3 nothing. Masi Yoshida checks in at 298. One, two, that's sharply up the middle, through for a base hit for Massa. He's on with the Red Sox first hit tonight. Justin Turner, designated hitter. A lot of at bats in his National League career against St. Louis, and he likes to swing against them. 305. Wayno's pitch is grounded to the second baseman. A flip to DeYoung out on the first. A good stretch by Goldschmidt and a double play. After one in Boston, 2 0 Cardinals. Leadoff man retired, and here is Paul DeYoung. Feel for breaking ball. Yeah. Down he goes, Hackett. On the fourth seamer, three strikeouts already for Paxton. Two down and a 2 2. I fly to right. Verdugo backing up, has space, and will make the play on the warning track. A walk and one left, still two to nothing Cardinals. Keep an eye on his pitch count. He's already had now three full counts and a pitch clock violation. So that's going to be a base on balls without throwing a pitch. Well, just get a double play. That's what happened in the first inning. Tristan Casas is the batter. Number one pick back in 2018. Ground ball. There you go. There's one. And Wayno to the bag. Stretches out and in time. Check the hammy, Wayno. But two double plays in the first two innings, and the Cardinals hold a 2 0 lead. Third inning of work for him. He's allowed two runs on two hits a Paul Goldschmidt base hit and a Nolan Arenado home run, his fourth of the year. Goldie's two for two. Arenado's two for two. And the Cardinals lead by two. Paxton is set, checks the runner at second. He tipped and caught. And that will end the Cardinals third after two and a half. Time and Buenos face the minimum through three innings. One, two, three inning for Wainwright. Sending us to the fourth. Red Birds two, Red Sox zero. James Paxton has been really good. Is back on the mound. I know he gave up the early home run, but he's been sharp, man. That's six Ks. He strikes out the side. He gets Carlson, DeYoung, and Newt Barr in succession. Looking at fastballs in the top of the fourth. He is rolling. Now time for the offense to get to work. Bottom of the fourth inning, top of the order for the Red Sox. Here go a doubles machine for Boston. And a great start for the Red Sox in the bottom of the fourth. And that one's going to be a little high and a good take on the curveball for ball four. And Wayne Red is yelling in to Nick Marley, asking if that was up. Holly Marmol, the manager, shaking his head. He doesn't agree. Second and third. Duran has produced plenty. He walked his first time. Red Sox with by far their best scoring chance. That's going to be looped toward right, and it drops down for a hit. One run is in. Here comes the second run. The Red Sox grab a pair as Verdugo and Turner score. Duran strikes, and he has knotted it up at 2 2. As Casas, speaking of power. Wicked liner on the chalk. No, that's fair. That is a fair ball. They're going to send him down to second base and bring Duran back to third because it left the ballpark. Or the ball girl picked the it ball up. girl got it. Whoops! She picked this right off, right she down that did. line. 
kind of just a reaction. James Paxton's pitching lines. He has seven strikeouts, guys. 72 pitches, fairly high there over four innings, but it's only walked one man. This is a guy who's barely pitched for three years. That is nine punch outs over the first five innings for James Paxton. After four and a half. Some performance, and after that last K, as he got Goldschmidt, a little hug there from his manager and the high fives. That was impressive. And Manuel Valdez called out on strikes his first time. And that one stung by Valdez deep to right field. Sailing, sailing back. That ball gets out of here. It's gone. With his family in the stands watching. He puts the Red Sox on top, three to two. He points up to his family. They're excited. They should be excited. <laughs> Wong grounded a short his first time up in the pitch. A high deep drive here by Wong to center field. This one's sailing. Watch it go. It's gone. And the Red Sox go back to back. He's got some base juice, Connor Wong. I tell you, he gets a hold of one. You just got back to back home runs from your eight and nine hole hitter. Eight and nine. Sixth inning, Red Sox with a 4 2 lead over the Cardinals. Winkowski out of the bullpen to face Wilson Contreras. Winkowski's pitch is swung on, and that's hit deep. Right center field. It's a gunner. A home run for Contreras, and the Cardinals are down by a run. Wow. That ball is crushed. The bases are loaded with still nobody out, and that will surely get the Red Sox bullpen working. Here's Paul DeYoung. Squib towards short. They'll get two, but the Cardinals will get the tying run. Arenado will score. Blyer has been hit relatively hard, and he's got to face Newt Bar. Newt Bar hits a fly ball down the left field line. That ball is going to drop, and it's fair. The go-ahead run scores on a double by Newt Bar. Lars Newt Bar gives the Cardinals the lead, and it's a three-run top of the sixth. Just trying to stay in there and hit it. A little cutter right there. What an inning for the Cardinals. Three runs, five hits. And the Red Sox have a couple of base runners, nobody out in the eighth. Raphael over three tonight, a couple of flyouts and a ground out. Here's the two nothing. Swing on a drive, hammer deep toward the triangle in right center field. It hits on the track and rattles around and oh. bounces into the stands. Oh. It's a tie game, but that would have put the Red Sox ahead. Turner would have scored easily, but Raffi with a bullet hit about 400 feet in the air. Red Sox have tied it up and his top here ready to swing. 1 0 pitch. Little chopper sending the runner home. He hits. He goes to first and the run is in. And the Red Sox have untied the game. They're on top six to five. Top of the ninth with the Red Sox leading six to five. Newt Barr has struck out. He's doubled. He's also taken ball four. Sharply hit. Brace hit center. DeYoung had to hold up. They're going to wave it. Newt Barr with a game tying hit. And Cash in a leadoff walk. Now it is Nolan Gorman pinch hitting, a run in, a man on, and nobody out. Swing and a high fly ball deep right. It's long gone for Gorman. The Cardinals lead by two in the bottom of the ninth. Alex Verdugo, number 99 on the home white jersey. Swing caught. Ball game. Cardinals win it. What a comeback for St. Louis. The Cardinals get three in the ninth inning. A Nolan Gorman home run caps their first comeback win after trailing after eight innings.